Hey you, yeah you, the hairy person watching or listening to this. I'm Greg Miller, and I want to shave you at a reasonable price. So let me tell you about our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Seriously, it's easier than hitting the skip button. Tim uses Dollar Shave Club, and Gia loves it. Especially when he uses the razor with that Dr. Carver's Shave Butter. Dollar Shave Club makes products for your face, your hair, your skin, your shower, everything you need, and it's all their own original stuff. They only use the finest premium ingredients, and they deliver it to your door just like they do their razors. That means no more annoying trips to the store, cruising up and down the aisles, looking at shelf upon shelf, saying, what the hell do I do with this? I want you to love Dollar Shave Club as much as Tim and Gia do. So, I've arranged for you to try the first month of the best razor ever, along with travel size versions of shave butter, body cleanser, and yes, even the butt wipes, for just $5. After that, replacement cartridges ship for just a few bucks a month. It's the DSC starter set. Get yours for just $5 exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. What's get to shut up? <laughs> shut your hole. Ew. It's so loud. As I was saying, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer Nick Scarpino. He beats me. No, no. you quiet down and back in your cage after this. Sorry. Have Joey come by. Put the metal cup along the bars. Damn. Yeah. Okay. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. For like a second, a, I thought you meant like a, sometimes, uh, like during Palm Sunday, the priest will like shake the thing. Remember that thing? Yeah. 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 The uh, incense. Yeah. The incense. And it yeah. Everyone be like, I love God, but they'd all be coughing because you can't actually breathe smoke. Do you like <laughs> the smell of the incense now? No. Really? I, don't I like the smell it. of incense. Period, though. Oh, really? Yeah. I just don't like incense that much. I remember, I remember not of incense, wasn't it? Like it's not, no, it's it, not like it, it was the burnt palm from the year prior. Right, right, yeah, right, right, right. right. But there was you know, this is John Carl, Hi. everybody, YouTube superstar from Whiskey and Waffles. You might know YouTube. him as the breakout star of Love and Sex Stuff season two. I was. Yeah. yeah. Were you breakout? That one did really well. Uh, we didn't get episode. we didn't get screamed at like the one from the week prior. So oh, I that's, that's, a, that's a win. That's a win. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And over there, the pure one at Tim Gettys. Led to most. So let's get it clear real quick. Yes. There's the incense in the decanter, maybe, is that what they call it? I forget. The palms from the year before are what get burned and then put in the ashes yeah. uh, on your yeah, head on yeah. Ash Wednesday. The incense is just straight up. They bought. They went to the corner store. No, but it's not. oil incense. Kevin, am I thing. calling it the wrong thing? Is incense right? You know you what I'm talking it, about. Are you thinking about amber? Don't no. they burn the amber, and that's what makes that smell that is familiar to when you think Catholic Church? Yeah, when I think like a funeral, and they're doing that that's, thing. That's the amber in that Amber, thing. isn't you it? Ash I Wednesday. Don't know. That's Amber. That's Ash Wednesday, Sunday. Fat Tuesday, my favorite, yeah. my favorite fucking it's a one. YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, Ash exactly, Wednesday. exactly. Really <laughs> this, the the Catholic content. Church's yeah. content roll out of yeah, yeah, of course, of course, the of most course. famous of all Catholic holidays. When we Tuesday. used to, you know, live in the old neighborhood, yeah. and work out of the old neighborhood, the guy down on the corner used to sometimes burn that incense for no reason at all, and it smelled great. It was like awesome. He died. It was great. The guy. Good memories. Uh, in my that that runs my corner store, my, my local uh, liquor store. Your delicatessen. Yeah, I'm not really a delicatessen, but your liquor store. He's a liquor store. <laughs> uh, he will burn uh, the incense there because the place smells like a dead rat. Oh, so that's is he fun. mourning the rat? I he might be. <laughs> that is a solid question. That's probably what he's up to. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think the rat's name was? Do Vicky. you think the rat? Think the bat, rat, rat tail was like Vicky. episode one. They just called him Anakin. He's that was like, a reference Anakin. for the people watching live on Patreon, because that's an option you can do, right, Greg? If you didn't know, this is the Game Over Greggy show each and every week. Four, sometimes five. Best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, you can head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny and get each and every episode early, along with just helping us run the business. Tim, how early can they get the episodes? You could be watching right now. Live. That's right. And there's little pre-shows beforehand where yeah. Tim mentions rat tails. And are they worth a dollar? Yeah. Yes. I want to go as far as, yeah, they are. Yeah. We, we were giving Kevin a I'm bunch of shit. It. What were we giving Kevin shit about today? I don't we're know. I wasn't out. one of them. I wasn't one of the people giving time. I Kevin, wasn't giving him shit. Who is, on, who is on the fuck you list today, Kevin? <laughs> who, who are you mad at today? Give me a second. I'm thinking if Tim's on there or not. Okay. But why would I be? <laughs> well, it you're might, Tim. It might not have anything to do with the shirt, Thank you. Great point. You also Am didn't I defend on the his shirt. List? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You've been making Why fun of this shirt. I'm not Nick. making fun of the shirt. Nick, before I met you, I didn't have. <laughs> you can't even <laughs> say it. You're saying it with such a shit eating grin that you know you're fucking with your. You're trying to pull it over on yourself. <laughs> no, I simply. I Kevin, show this shirt to the kids at home. I. I there it is, is Death Angel. Big, what is it? 
<laughs> also, I woke up at 6.30 this morning to take Paula's car to the mechanic. Yeah. So maybe I didn't put that much effort into what I was wearing. I'm not, oh, we're I'm not saying, offended. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is this. I'm offended. I just said, Kevin, what's going on with that shirt? Mm -hmm. Hold on, real quick. Time out, time out, time out. bringing that time to the out, table. Do you understand me? Tim, how did he say that, though? All right. You know, we're actually going to take this a step back because we were doing our, our <laughs> so weekly. So Kevin's proof. We're doing our weekly, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing our weekly meeting. And during the weekly meeting, at some point, Andy looks over to Kevin, and he's like, what's up with your shirt? And him, Joey, and Kevin have a dialogue about the shirt. Meanwhile, Nick is not listening at all. I was listening. <laughs> Were you? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you then later bringing up, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, what's going on with your shirt? No, but what you missed that, that was, was before he said that, he just looks over. Yeah. Like well, that. it dawned on me that Kevin, our good friend Kevin Coelho, who has never once in that I can remember, and I, I'll admit I don't pay attention a lot, mm -hmm. but I think I would remember if Kevin was like, "You, I'm massively into Death Angel." Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is a band I am really. Hey, Nick, like, queen, if he was wearing a Queen shirt, I'd be like, oh, yeah. "That makes yeah. sense." You mm -hmm. are. We talk about greatest rock band of all time. You argue Queen. That's a very defensible position. No, 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 but Death Angel. Of all time. Like, if it was a Megadeth shirt, I'd be like, cool, because Megadeth, that's, like, retro and cool, and that's, like, from the 80s. Megadeth, I used to have whatever. a Megadeth shirt. We, and did, did it ever come up in conversation I when you wore it? No. Does it make sense? I had the coolest Metallica shirt, too. Metallica? Again, Fucking another band, like, shirt. not my personal favorite, but if you wore a Metallica got, shirt, I'd be like, cool, I got, Metallica. I got all these One of the highest grossing one. selling bands of all time that makes sense, you support them. Death Angel. Is a shirt that he's had for the it's last local, 10 years. local metal man from the Bay Area. Again, I'm not making fun of the shirt. I just put it out there, and I gave Kevin the rope. Mm -hmm. And now Kevin is just showing his insecurity when it comes to his love of Death Angel. He's just putting it out sing there. Sing me a few bars of a Death Angel song, please. Go, 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 go. Uh, allow me to go, sing go, you a Death Angel song. We worship Satan because he's cool. Death Angel, Death, Death, Death Angel. Angel. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> and your mom, Death Angel. I hate them. <laughs> If you don't got any bucks to toss our way, no big deal. Head over to YouTube.com slash kind of funny where we put it up topic by topic day by day until it goes up as one big video in MP3 the following Friday. Nick, scrap it, do Scarpino, Woo! kick us off. We're going to talk about Death Angel for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Let's go and strap in your fucking seatbelts. No, actually, I want to talk about the iPhone. I just finally, finally, after years of toiling away with that fucking iPhone 5S and Joey calling my phone small and everyone yeah. on the internet calling Tiny my phone, phone small. Scarpino. Uh, I finally upgraded to the iPhone X. Uh, prior to this, no, no, okay. I'm not going to clap for Nick. <laughs> Taking five years to upgrade his How phone. Dare, but you, aren't you proud of me that I pre-ordered it? All right. Now, my, my, house. Now my first am, my first complaint would be, show it to, hit the button again. Hold on. Show it to the screen. Hold on. Show it to the screen. Oh, He's making sure nothing showing that shouldn't He's be. got nothing of importance. Why is your background still the default background? It's not. I picked this background because it's a live background and it morphs over time. It's still live. If you touch it, it does the little bloop, 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 bloop. Who the hell? No, yeah, it didn't do anything. Well, it did lost. literally nothing. They called up your notifications. You have to hold, look like, at me. Push on it's the unlocked. <laughs> God, it's like watching a grandfather try to ride a bike. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I don't know what that does, but it's cool and it's colorful, and uh, it's the only background that's like HD. So I was looking. I went online to look at more HD style backgrounds. The only ones I could find were like super compressed. They just don't look that good on the phone. Mm -hmm. The problem is the screen is so good on this that you want something that's really has a high fidelity and a high bit rate. Um, and so that was, I mean, they come default. I picked those. I had gotcha. a couple other ones on there that were like retro and cool, but they were like dim. And I'm like, you know, it's a brand new thing. I want it to be happy. I want to see the color in it. Sure. Sure. Um, but my question for you guys is prior to prior to ordering and like in uh, and interacting with this. I was like, I wonder, I'm looking at all the quote unquote technical innovations, the new iPhone X, and I'm like, they don't seem to be that big anymore. So like, is Apple just innovating for the sake of innovating because they have to sell a new product every year? Or in your guys' opinion now, having the, had, having had the Do phone for one, a while, John? is uh, this no, a big no. leap forward? What phone are you on right now? Uh, 7S. You know, 7S, no. okay. And then we are all now on 10s. 10s, yeah. Cool. Well, fuck me, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. You What's your plan? Are you planning on getting one? Shut up, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, after after the holiday, I'm going to upgrade okay. to a 10. To a 10. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're all on the same page here. That yep. That's just I think so. how we fuck things. But because also my wife, because by Andy, the way. Andy is an Android person. Andy's Andy. Boo. Kevin is an Android person. Boo. Fuck you guys. <laughs> There's no boo. I hear a lot of well, Death Angel fans <laughs> are Android people. <laughs> go, go, go. We love Android. Fuck your iPhone. Gingerbread <laughs> is the best system ever. <laughs> fuck iOS. <laughs> fuck iOS. Um, but uh, but so this is the question, right? Like my, my, my wife's, I think, on a six. 
uh, and she's thinking about upgrading to the eight. And I'm like, don't do that. Just get the fucking ten when it's when it's available. And she's like, I don't know if I need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, from her perspective, and I think from my original perspective, like this is not as exciting as a jump forward for when you're buying the phone. Flash forward, I get the phone, I'm interacting with it, and I pick up my iPad and I start swiping up, and then I'm like, oh, right, quaint, the home button. Who needs one of those anymore, right? So I'm actually like, I'm like, there's actually a lot of cool shit in this phone that I did not think, but this doesn't look good on paper to me. I don't know. What are your thoughts, Tim? I mean, why would, yeah, what do you mean doesn't look good on paper? Well, so I feel like the, the problem is people get ahead of themselves when it comes to tech. I really feel like there's two camps of people, and I'm not even going to do the Android iOS thing. I'm just going to do, there's people that give a fuck about this type of tech, and there's people that don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. We're now at a point that... Both of those groups use smartphones. Smartphones are just right. They're just normal phones now, and phones are something that everybody has. Everybody being relative to mm -hmm. you know generalizing, whatever. Don't get on me in the comments about that. Um, but what it comes down to is there's the people like me that read rumor websites every day about what Android's doing and what Apple's doing and all the what the rumors are of next phone and all this stuff. And then there's the people that are just like, oh, the new thing comes out. And we're they're taught, even those people, that every year Apple's going to come out and have a conference and make some announcements. And ever since Steve Jobs died, it's been kind of just like this rush of, hey, uh, what way is Apple going to fuck this up? And they're, they've changed. I don't think they've changed much at all. Like the, in the sense of there's, there's not these grand in Innovative things. If Steve Jobs was still here, right. I don't think that we'd be getting these grand innovative things on the schedule that we were when he was alive. And I think that we've seen that just they need to put it out because that's what people expect. And a lot of them are changes just for changes. You talk about innovation. I don't think there's much innovative about the iPhone 10. Mm -hmm. It's just people like something new to do. Is the lack of a home button like better or worse? I don't know. It's different and I'm used to it now, so I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love my phone. This iPhone 10 has been a game changer for me where I'm like for the first time in a year, I'm like excited to use my phone. Sure. Just to use it. And like, that's stupid, but I'm one of those just to of fuck people. around on it. Yeah. I yeah. care about this shit. And it's like, mm -hmm. I couldn't understand trying to buy a eight instead of a, a 10, but that's also because I've had a six plus for a couple of years. You've already now. kind of had the, eight. but yeah. having said that I waited specifically for this. I wanted to form factor change because I, I'm the type of person that would upgrade every year. If that was a, option that made sense financially right it never did up until the point i had my six plus and after that i was like i'm not gonna upgrade to the the s i'm not gonna upgrade when they announced the seven mm -hmm. and now that the eight and ten i'm like okay i'm definitely going to the ten and now that i'm on the apple upgrade plan i'm gonna upgrade every year you're definitely gonna upgrade every yeah. year yeah because it's just like all the little it's the little changes that they make that it's like it just makes it a better quality of life experience like at this point the smartphone's the smartphone. They're not going to reinvent the smartphone. You know, the tablets are tablets. It's like these are, and the fucking watch, all the shit, it's here. We're going to get these little changes here and there. There's so much about this phone that I'm like, wow, this is so much better than the other ones. Then there's things that I'm like, this kind of sucks. The control center being from the top right, yeah. that's inconvenient. That's that a, sucks. a function that we've been taught to use, swipe up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's very accessible to get to your camera yeah. and to get to your alarm and flashlight, things that you use daily, randomly. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, it's some, it is change for change sake, I would argue. Well, isn't it because you have to swipe up to get into it and do all the other stuff? Now mm -hmm. you're swiping up. I mean, like, is that, that's my thing, right? Of like, you got used to not having a home button. Isn't it just a matter of getting used to having the crap up in the top right corner? No, because in my opinion, that's not designed well. Like, the, that's, it's not just, oh, you get used to it. Like, I'm used to it already. It doesn't make it good. It, I, I guarantee they fix that in one of the iOS updates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my, and that's the thing. There's a couple gripes I have, and one of them is that, that diagonal swipe you have to do, which is weird and works most of the time if I'm, when I'm paying attention to it, but it's not as carefree as it was before. What is the diagonal? Uh, before, prior to the uh, to this iteration of the phone, you could swipe upward and you would just get a little control center that had all of your like you know volume, brightness, calculator, anything like any of the core stuff that you use on a day to day basis would be right here, right? Mm. It would also show you if you swiped over like whatever you were listening to, so you could just hit play on a podcast. Uh, if you want to do that now, the good news is in the new iOS, all that stuff's there. And since you have more screen, it takes up the whole thing. And you can like, I guess you could have always customized these before, but I just realized you mm -hmm. could add more stuff to it, which is cool. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, but now you have to go from the top right hand corner, which huh. means you can't do it with one hand. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I can't. Boom, right oh, there. Well, I mean, it's a stretch. It's a stretch. It's 
totally inconvenient. You guys have fucking, you have mountain man hands. Hey, I've been using the, what, <laughs> I was on a seven plus, plus. 7 plus before, so yeah, this is way more navigatable than the, uh, that thing was where I was always like trying to get over to it. I, do, but I also don't like that there's, I, I just don't like that there are there are uh, swipes that are that have a degree of error now, mm -hmm. right? Before, swipe right, swipe left, you can't fuck that up, mm -hmm. right? Up, down, that's pretty easy, Well, it's because right? the force touch stuff. So they added, there's so much more functionality when it comes to the operating system and all the different things you can do. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you just tap it, this happens. If you hold it, this happens. Right. If you push in, the new menu comes up where you get to, to choose all the things. And right. that the two biggest complaints I have with this phone are having to swipe down from the, the right corner for the that. command center. And when you're trying to close the apps. Closing apps is mm -hmm. terrible. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas before, it was a simple thing of you double tap and then you can just toss them away, toss them away, yep. toss them away. Now it's this weird thing where you need to swipe up while pushing down and then they come up. Then you need to hold down on the apps mm -hmm. and then you can start tossing them yeah. away. And it's just like one extra step. Getting rid of the well, buttons well. and turning it into the thing, cool, fine, I'm, I've already gotten used to that. But having to hold down before you can toss them, it's right. like, it is really invasive to good design, I think, yeah, when it, it comes just to functionality of a phone. Well, That's that true. was like the, the recent update with taking screenshots when they did the last iOS update, where it would make the screenshot appear in the bottom yeah. and you could get into it. I've never had such trouble swiping to the left. Get the to, fuck out of my those, face. Those things would not move or not catch properly as yeah. I was swiping on them. It's, you know, it's it's all these little tiny iterations that I, I think you're right. They're going to see the ones that aren't working and those will be the ones that will be updated in, in Switch. But, you know, I think that's why I, I did it every two years because they weren't big enough differences for right. me. And I think now at this point, I'm just, I'm in the iPhone family. And, you know, basically... I'm only upgrading because once a phone is two years old, the hardware can't support the software that's up to it anymore. So yeah, that I was just where want I a was good at. working phone. The five S. I wasn't like that though. But even with the six plus, you're like, still my brother's. It's not my brother using it. My battery still ran forever. Well, that had the best. By the way, that's one of my other gripes on here is that my battery is just is nothing to phone home about. Really? I got to last night. It was at thirty percent, and I was like, huh, at this is weird. And uh, around like. 8, 8.30. Granted, I'm in that, that honeymoon phase with the phone where I'm fucking constantly on it because I just like looking at the screen. You're playing Animal Crossing all the time, um, too. <laughs> but I do think I need to go Without in and adjust some of the safe. settings. Like, for mm -hmm. instance, I still have the you lift it up and it turns on setting, and I think I, think uh, I should probably I mean, take that off. We're also using a live video background. Ah, that's probably it, too. Burn! What are you with your background? <laughs> My wife, because I'm in love with her. I'm like, you, you're in love that? with colors fucking and movement. Low stuff. res Tim, fucking Polaroid picture of a picture of your wife. On your lock Jesus, screen. Jesus, get with uh, it, bro. You're not even using the whole screen. Fancy, cool looking, <laughs> just <laughs> color <laughs> thing. You want to show me? Oh, sure. You want to show, you wanna show it on oh, Sky King? What no, are we doing? just show Oh, Tim, you, you always have the custom back, that, that constant background. What? That's yeah, nice. well. Just show me. Oh, show the camera. sorry. I thought you were Sky Camming it. I don't know. It's just like, it's cool, pretty colors and shit. Uh, but then, yeah, my background is my favorite thing, which is, again, more pretty colors. But this doesn't show well <laughs> it doesn't on the work screen. Well on that but screen. But I've had the same background since my iPhone 5, and I fucking love it. It's pretty. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a few things over there I don't like. Uh, You're all crazy. I wasn't excited for this one at all. I wouldn't have got, I, yeah, like I said, I had 7 Plus before, so I was the last year, I guess, I moved to that phone, right? Sure. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've, Jen didn't need a phone because she was then using, so I, I'm on 7 Plus, which means then with this, her phone's three years old. It's three generations back because I was two every two years. Yeah. Uh, she was using that one, and that one's all kinds of fucked up, and the GPS was broke, and it did gobble battery, and it was a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. And so... Originally, I had said, "Oh yeah, well, you know, when the new ones come around, I'll buy that, and, you, and I'll take the new one for photos for work and stuff like that, and for making vlogs and videos and shit like that." And then you can have the Seven Plus. And she was the one who's like, when they got, it, I didn't even pay attention to them getting announced. I was like, "Oh, that's happening. That's cool." Blah, blah. And she was one like, I came home that day and like, "We're doing this, right?" I was like, "Oh, I guess so, yeah." And there was the, "Are we doing? Should, should I do an eight or an X?" And it was like, "Well, I'm clearly just going to jump to the X. Like, uh, you know, I want the. Yeah. I, I I love my iPhone. I, every iPhone I've had has been great and awesome and amazing, and so." When it was, all right, cool, I'll just jump to this one. I jumped in not knowing anything about it, not really reading anything about it. I knew the camera was better. And, okay, mm -hmm. great. And got it. And I didn't, you had explained to me the day of, like, you got getting yours of, like, okay, like, this is how big the screen is. Because I still didn't have my head wrapped around that because I hadn't paid attention to it. And so getting it and using it, I think it's awesome. It's great. Like, I don't, the dragging from the top right doesn't annoy me. Currently, my biggest annoyance that I haven't Googled yet, and I'm sure we're about to solve, is I used to use the whole, hey, click it on and then, you know, move to the right to use the camera. Like, how do I, is it still the same? Why is there a camera button down here like that? Why, what does this thing do? And like, what, you what, hold it, it. You hold it? Because, I mean, and, and, and I didn't know anything about this taptic touch thing until right now you're talking about it. Like, yeah. 
So that's what. How do but I? Force yeah, touch yeah. was on your seven as well. Mm, didn't ever use it. Yeah, so the only the only time force touch ever came into play was it. when I was like, "Hey, I want to delete or move an app," and it always did the opposite. I'm like, yeah. "Motherfucker, what do you want me to do?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for, I think you just hold it down, right? Yeah, apparently. What? So you, but see, but I can also can I still swipe right because I just did it actually. Maybe. Yeah, I must be able to. So there you go. Yeah. My problems are solved. My one problem with this phone solved. Oh, look at that. Don't worry about it, everybody. It. What's that way? The flashlight. When that one you. Uh, yeah, no. <sighs> ah! Oh, my eyes, I Nick. Why? Ah, I just bite myself. No, I think it's great, but I'm it's I fall into the camp you're talking about of like, <laughs> all right, cool, whatever. And I'll watch the announcement or not even really watch the announcement mm -hmm. and then see what's happening next I, time around. I just think it's funny. I've seen so many people argue online where it's like a thousand dollars. I could buy this, 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 and this for a thousand dollars. It's like okay, or you can have a supercomputer in your pocket that yeah. you literally use more than anything else yeah. in your life. And that, that was my biggest thing, I think, when I made the jump to either the last big one or the one before then. When I, you know, I, I was like, fuck this, top of the line, as many GBs as possible. And people are like, oh my God, the money. And I'm like, I don't, the, the iPhone and its dominance has, for the most part, by and large, eliminated a computer, right? Where it's, what I mean, do I for everyday things? Sure, yeah, sure. email, I, phones, and not for editing yeah. videos, stuff I like that. I, I, could, I could do most of my job yeah. from my cell phone. I mean, you could do Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, yeah. things like that. Yeah. And I do, especially want. for this work in terms of yeah. answering, you know, tweets or being on email or once in a while playing a game like Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. Or it's yeah, I want all that. I want to be able to make videos and have crazy photos and not worrying about deleting and managing my space and doing any of that crap. Like. For me, it is every year. It's, yeah, a thousand bucks or whatever, but, or not every year, but every two years or whatever, I'm putting a thousand dollars, whatever it is, down. And it's. Well, it's a new thing now. You won't have to do that anymore with the I'm upgrade. Programs. I still don't understand that at all either. <laughs> but I mean, are you on the upgrade? Program? You're basically just paying yeah. for the phone then monthly. Last year, you yelled at me that I did it wrong. So this yeah, year, I just like did it right. You fucked up bad last year, but I mean, but it was the new. phone. <laughs> it was like, here's the money. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is like there was there was a transition period, and but from now on, where we're at, at least for this generation of phones, it's going to be, you are just essentially signing on instead of for a two year contract constantly. It's every time every year a new phone comes out. Do you want to upgrade? If you do, you're just adding one more year to your contract. Yeah, yeah. it's essentially a lease. Yeah, yeah. But, but then you like have to pay off the phone, or do you just take it in and get the new one? Well, it's you you take it in, get you the new taxes. one, and you yeah you pay taxes. Okay, that. yeah. I mean that's which is like a hundred. I think I think I signed up for that too. So. It's fine. You'll have to push me to do it, though, because you know I can't. Well, I'll like go I, over there together. I'm so fucking weird when it comes to... I mean, the next one will be whatever the XXS. X, I can't call it that. X 10X. We'll 10S. See. I don't That's know. too hard to say. Add in the 8 in it. Um, on, on a lighter, I mean, again, another praise for the phone, though. I do really like the, the form factor of it. I, the, one of my biggest uh, reasons why I didn't want to upgrade was because I didn't... The other one felt too small. Like, the normal version of the, the 7s and the 8s felt too small. The Plus always felt way too big to fit in my pocket, and I like to put it in my back pocket. This size is fucking perfect. This it just... Is bigger than the seven uh it's but the seven the, the seven itself felt small to me i was like why would i upgrade to this it's not that much Got bigger it. yeah the seven plus always felt like it was this Massive. like i was carrying around a fucking tv in my pocket well see that's my thing is this uh, is perfect next like, year it's great for my back pocket next year when hopefully they add the plus size this i'm all in do you I'll think they'll do that there. though mm -hmm. interesting yeah yeah i don't, I don't exactly what we're talking about i don't There's need nothing to innovate new. yeah let's just Bigger, smaller. So that's my bigger, question. Back smaller. to you, the heart of your matter or whatever. Yeah. Do you feel like they need to? No. Yeah. I, 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 I'm with you of like, all right. This it, thing has 250 fucking gigs on it. You know what I mean? Like, that's a lot. I'm I not going to fill that up anytime it soon. It reminds me of Madden or whatever, where it's just like, all right, you've gotten it to a point that it's pretty fucking amazing. So every year I can't, every nine months, I don't imagine you're going to come out and show me that f the game of football has changed. You pretty much perfected what a phone should be, a touch enabled device mm -hmm. should be. So it's going to be little bells and whistles and things that change and, and better. This better changes that. for the sake of change. And I know that the comments are going to be riddled with like, Oh, fucking no headphone jack and whatever. It's like, I, that affects me more than it would affect most people. I would imagine. Cause you because love that I, analog. Jack. I care about music. I love that stuff, but it's like, mm -hmm. okay, it comes with the converter. If you need another one, that's the thing. Like ten dollars. My am, car uses USB anyways, and now this thing is more waterproof. It's it is one of that was one of those things that I'm like that's going to bug me the most, and it bit me in the ass the very first day because the phone came not uh, you know it was like forty percent charged or whatever, and of course like an idiot I'm like I'm going to fucking just walk around with it and not charge it. So I got to the end of the day and I'm like I really want to. I was in a hotel room with my wife because uh, we were visiting her family for Thanksgiving, and um, I was like okay I'm just going to sit here and watch uh, you know something on Netflix. I think I was watching like oh I was watching FX. On Amazon, sure you were. which is this old Brian Brown, Brian Dennehy movie. Oh, I thought you meant the channel. Classic. No, <laughs> this is a terrible '80s movie. But I was like, oh no, my phone battery is gonna die. I'll just plug it in, and then I'm like, oh, I can't, because I'm listening to this with headphones. Damn it! 
because I need I need the two in one jack. So the next mm. day I went to try to cobble that together at the i at the uh, Apple Store, and I was just like, I, this is gonna cost too much money. Went online, looked at it, and like this Belkin sells one for like five bucks. Yeah, and I'm like, that's eh, pretty easy. And I understand. I guess this is the this is this is what I'm where my head's at, where I'm like that is an annoyance, but. I do like that they're at least trying to push the technical envelope with saying like you don't need all these connectors. Everything's going wireless. Everything's just Hate it's that. eventually going to be wireless. At least to give me the option because they are I, giving the option. I, the wireless tech is not there. It's but good, it, but that's it's the thing. good enough until there's Absolutely a device that has seventy percent of the market share to push that technology. And this is what I give Apple credit for. Like it won't get there. But Apple saying, "Hey, this is the precedent." Is the precedent? You know, they set the precedent every time they do something like this. So it's very, very fast. Do I wish it still had a, uh, a headphone jack? Yeah, hundred percent. But you know, I, I mean, also I, I wish care. we weren't on phones because I'm an old man and I like, I like old technology. I yeah, I remember the joke about courage. And that's why they took it away. Mm -hmm. They took it away to make it more waterproof. Was that the, what they? What the other yeah, thing but they that's wanted? a sham, though. It's not a sham. Was it? A sham. But I was at when I was in Palm Springs the, and I dropped my iPhone Seven Plus into the water. Everyone panicked, and, well, and I was like, it's "I think it's gonna be fine." I got it out; it worked fine. Didn't have to Android, put it in rice. Didn't have to do anything. Supposedly, Android devices have been more waterproof for years without that. Sure, I don't but know, nobody knows because nobody uses them. Well, that's nobody what I'm saying. Knows. Everyone's like, "Oh, that that's bullshit reason because Android devices are perfectly yeah, yeah. waterproof." If you if you look at that ridiculous smear campaign that no, uh, Samsung is running right yeah, now, right, 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 that yeah, in there, right? The guy's but, like, "Let's all jump into the fucking lake." Like, oh, rice, all that stuff. What were you saying, Kevin? But the Android devices that are waterproof, all that I knew of until very recently, all had covers. A plug being like. Goes for in. both yeah, yeah. the power and okay. the the gotcha. And yeah, the, again, the, I don't know. I don't know Android stuff, yeah. but that was one of the criticisms that I saw rendered against that change. Yeah, but that um, see, that's fanboy stuff right. that where people are just arguing for the sake of arguing on why one side's better than the other. And shit well, like it's that. A, it's the same with the argument of like that's uh, you know uh, Galaxy or Android devices have had OLED screens for a while and they've had bezel-less screens for a while. Like they had the curved screen and things like that. Like that is those are true. Those are our technical mm -hmm. innovations. Those were made that no one really gave a fuck about. Big Kev dog coming off the bench. What do you got for me, Death Angel number one fan? I hate you. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Why, are you Why are you becoming the worst? Let's talk anyway. about Android. I got something to say. The gingerbread men go. Let him give it out, Kevin. Let him just get it out. Okay, so, he's done. Go for it. I did want to say that uh, I'm not a fan of Apple products. I like the construction out of them always, but I don't like the operating system. Mm -hmm. God damn, this phone has a beautiful, beautiful screen. How much does that hurt you to say? It hurts me so <laughs> much. So to bring you up to, Paula got one, right? That's how you, yes. now you're versed in it? She got it uh, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I've been playing around at the store, like me and Tim. We've been going to the store a lot because we've been having a lot of issues with. Because you got like Sprint. nine phones delivered to you. <laughs> I had fucking three. three iPhone tens. It's like why? I couldn't get mine for three weeks against like the fucking shipping hell right fucking now. IPhones. Um but but me and Kevin have been looking at a lot of phones and then we look at like the Galaxy Note eight, mm -hmm. I think it was. Which and is the Galaxy also, S eight. Which is funny because the it is also yeah. almost bezel less, just sure. like this. Mm -hmm. O L E D. But but the size of the plus. Yeah. Okay. Right. So it is much bigger than yeah. this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, okay, cool. That's what Apple's gonna do next year. It's, but it's like, but the screen, not as nice. It, the screen's not as nice, which is crazy because it's made by Samsung, the OLEDs that, we're, that you guys are using. But it's not just that, it's the glass it's, and it's sure, all it's, the, the it's bullshit. every component in it. But um, so the Note 8 is also super long, bigger, looks nearly as nice, but the small difference that it has the lip on the bottom and on the top, mm -hmm. and it's tiny. It's really small. But man, I really like the lipless. Dude, like, it's weird. It's, it's, so, it's weird to say. Yeah. Because I thought I was like, the notch is going to bother me. You guys know yeah. how anal retentive I am. I reparked my car like five fucking times because I had it as close to the curve as humanly possible. I'm like, I'm going to the one <laughs> thing that's going to bug the shit out of me is this notch. And then as I was looking on yours, I was like, oh, I don't even like this endless scroll thing. I just like, <laughs> it gives me weird anxiety to have there not be a bottom of the screen. But again, five minutes of having the phone. This is awesome. Okay. Like I don't even see the notch anymore. Because you're right. You 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 nailed it. You're like all this all this stuff up here is useless space anyway. It's just for your icons for your battery. It only affects it when stuff. it's when you're watching video or looking at a picture full screen. But even then, mm -hmm. but the aspect ratio is all off anyway. So well, that's like, that was my only other gripe. And I thank you for reminding. Was that I was watching like a lot of the apps haven't been updated. And again, these will be updated probably by give it a month. Know by the time this thing, like, this, yeah, this podcast Gmail's comes out. Gmail's not updated. And it's like that's really weird. Um. Yeah. I think they did an update with the the newest iOS update. Not Gmail. Really? Mm -mm. It's totally different on my phone than it was on my old phone. It doesn't matter. Um, Amazon your old phone so old. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. Gmail's not X optimized. Oh, okay. Um, Amazon Prime Video is not either, and it was. It's weird. Like if you're watching a video, getting out of the video was like 
confusing as fuck for me. That's your age, though. It, no, no, no. It's just because I don't think when you're when you're actually in full screen and you don't get out of full screen first and you swipe, it does like other shit. It's very weird. Like it. Anyway, that was that was a that was a weirdness to me of not having the home button because I was like, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. And I kept swiping and kept doing the wrong thing. And then I would swipe up and it would do the wrong thing. And I was like, ah, what the holy bitch. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know how to get out of this. Eventually, I figured I got you have to minimize it first and then and then close the program. I, I think it's very weird. I think the big thing to take away from it, though, is like they get so much data because everything that we're doing on our phones, they're they're getting as much information about what we're actually using That's it terrifying. for. Uh, it, no, it's, hor it's horrifying. They're going to make but, our products better. But it's <laughs> it's look, it's. Kevin. it's you don't Kevin, let's watch Death Angel porn together. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, no, you know what it means. But you don't need Look, Kev Bear. to truly innovate on something if the marketplace isn't dictating that you need to. Because mm -hmm. they could just be like, all right, 90% of the use of this is people watching YouTube videos, Amazon video, Twitter, Instagram, and mm -hmm. taking pictures. If they're doing that and they're optimizing for those five things, Everything else is kind of secondary. So how do you make everyone who's using Twitch and YouTube get a better viewing experience? Give them a bigger screen. I mean, that's the, what you're saying. Like that's or a what better screen in this case, yeah, which is the exactly. OLED, which, by the way, is a fucking it, Kevin's right. It's spot on. It's fucking awesome. Like watching video. You're like, it's so black. You know, it's like so dark. One it's thing, possibly black. One impossibly thing that annoys black. me about modern, like the, the newest batch of phones. Yeah. And this is true for both Android and iPhone is the fact that. They don't seem to respect aspect ratio laws that, like, you know, have existed forever. And it's like, it's cool if you guys want to move on to something that's no longer 16 by 9 or what was it? Whatever. Oh, whatever. This is like yeah. fucking anamorphic. Why, why isn't it doing full anamorphic, that's... though? Why aren't we getting. Well, so that'll be. Like, I mean, it's interesting that you say that, though, right? Because yeah. now with the push to everything being 4K, mm -hmm. like, it's not inconceivable that YouTube has. Like, right now, you can do that punt, like, you can zoom in on stuff in YouTube. It's not inconceivable that at a 4K video, and granted, you still have to frame it differently, mm -hmm. but you could size it according to whatever you want, and it would just pick the frame in the screen. Because you're talking about 4K would be. What, what are the. Do you know what the resolutions well, are the other of these? 4K is still the same aspect ratio. Yeah, it's still. Oh, no, by but nine. I mean, you could film it, like. A lot of a lot of the chips, like majority of chips that are that are used, and probably including this one, are 35 millimeter chips, which are four three, and they just crop in on the frame. So what I'm saying is, if if the, it's not inconceivable that video would evolve to a point where you're filming everything, that information's still there, but you can just you're just choosing to show which frame it is. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. But I mean, I think what what Kevin's saying is like it should be just the proper thing that not work backwards, work with it. Where it's like if videos are 16 nine, it should be 16 by nine. What's what's the <laughs> new well, they one? were 21... until this. Right. Yeah. Well, they were for like two generations. Before that, it was all fucked up with. Uh, it was like yeah, they had the weird like this. Yeah. Is really yeah, upsetting. That, the four and below is that. But that's the thing too. I mean, that's we'll, we'll have to see what that is. That's that's probably never like sixteen nine is a pretty pretty deep standard right now because yeah. of televisions. Exactly. Right. And as will, more and more people change. move away from televisions, like I rue the fucking day. And yes, I use that word when rue they start it. making televisions Good that are rue. in this aspect ratio. Ugh. Oh that's my god! Funny. And you know it's fucking coming. Thank God Vine died. God. Yeah. Step one is stopping it. it. Though. Yeah. I saw. I told you guys a story. I saw my buddy uh, go up at the punchline. And I was like, do you want me to film your performance? And the guy's like, no, I got that. If you could just take some pictures, that'd be great. Now, this is back when I'm on the iPhone 5S. I'm like, I don't think you understand. I don't have a great phone. Sorry like, for potato quality. They were t <laughs> it was, I mean, it was just like a blur of his face. But I looked over at the guy that was filming the phone, and what did I see? Filming the set? <laughs> filming fucking vertically. And I'm like, bro! But did the guy want that? No, oh. nobody knows. They don't know what they want. So you get it and you go, how come this is not a thing? And then you got to do that stupid thing where you enhance the other side, like mm. duplicate it and, and scale it and blur um, it. It's stupid. But I mean, the pro I mean, maybe he wanted it that way for like, you know, his stories and such. No, he, wa no, he was filming it because when people do showcases, they want to see you do a showcase mm. and you generally send them a link, which they film. But the problem is if you put, if you embed that in a video, I don't know. Can you actually, I don't think, I guess you can zoom in on it. Like you can double click it. It's but horrible, but yeah. It's terrible. So Nick, do you care? I mean, did, did they innovate? Do you need them to innovate? I don't need them to innovate, but I also don't care what they're going to do next year. I'm going to do the same thing I've done for the last three generations mm -hmm. of iPhone, where I go, I have this, I don't care. I don't, but now you got I the upgrade until, program. I do have the upgrade program, but that'll I be the real test. If next year I the mean, phone comes around, Tim and I are going to go. Well, I'm going to go upgrade, might as well or whatever. We go over there. You're going to get in the car. Maybe you're going to get in the car. Maybe. I mean, I, I, I'm more incentivized to do it now because I had to sign up for the upgrade program because it made more sense financially of doing it paying monthly as opposed to dropping down 1400 bucks yeah. uh, for the phone and the case and the, and the, and the Apple care plan. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it, it really does depend. I don't need a phone much bigger than this. If they, if the only difference is it's slightly more powerful and it's bigger, I don't need that. So I'll probably wait until 
two years from now to mm-hmm. upgrade. Mm-hmm. Plus, again, there's still a part of me that goes, it is a total waste of technology to be buying these things that are, you know, uh, these amazing devices and then just throwing them away a year later and getting well, now, the newest now thing. Now you're leasing them. Now you're leasing them. You're no longer buying them. No, technically, if I, I think technically you can st- I can pay this off and yeah, keep it, right? Right. But like, right. That's, that's what a lease is. Where you're paying it off and you yeah, don't yeah, own yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, if I wanted to, I could choose to keep this phone. Um, but I, that's my thing too. Is I'm just there's still a part of it that's like, oh man, have we really like? Do we care so little about all this tech that's being made that we're just we just love it for like a second and then just fuck it, we don't care about it anymore yeah. after a year? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Utility. Where does it's it a go? Weird argument. Where it gets it recycled. I assume. Buys it. No, yeah, I, I, sell, I resell mine or put them on Amazon or whatever. They just sell on I, I keep in older ones as uh, recorders, just actually, for uh, for oh, video really? for stuff. Yeah, interesting. Because the video can't do anything at this point. But sometimes, if we're uh, recording something, we'll actually have extra iPhones on the table just to pick up audio to keep it clean for nice. us too. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I mean, I can't speak for everybody. I don't know how many people are getting the new phone and throwing the old one away. I mean, I mean I I probably not doing all that. the well, yeah, yeah, but I mean that's new. But I mean, even before then, all the buyback programs and all the places you can. I mean, GameStop takes them now, right? Yeah. Like, there's a million ways. Yeah, to, I mean, I saw, I gave mine over. I bought they bought mine back from the five S. I got sixty bucks for it, yeah. which is cool. Or they end up in drunk uh, junk drawers for people. Bucks. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Or I Justine has them all. Yeah, she does. I don't know why <laughs> she, she has them all hanging her. She just has them in She likes to lay on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah like so. Scrooge McDuck just swimming exactly. like, ow, 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 right in the screens of cracks. No, I mean, you bring up an interesting thing about the disposability of technology, but. For me, it's all about utility, and especially with this program now. I'm like, all right, it's 20% faster and 10% better battery, and the camera will obviously have more megapixels next time. I'm like, all right, I don't think I, I don't know how. I'll talk to Tim offline about how we actually go about trading them and buying them or whatever. I don't know if I'll say oh, until midnight that night and be in the trying to click and get it, but I mean, eventually it's going to be, oh, there's a whole bunch in stock. All right, let's go over there and do it. Oh, yeah, no, I'm definitely not doing midnight next time. Yeah. But I will do come January, February. I'll think but about I mean, it, sure. And that's the, like, I like to be able to walk in and be like, can we do this right now? Cool, done. And that's the thing you with know? the you know 7 Plus that I got rid of is the fact that this is the first time we've Jesus gotten to... You've been lamenting about monsters. all these phones that have been sent to you. You've been stressing about this for the last three weeks. Well, that, I mean, that was a disaster. I don't know. That's not an iPhone problem. That's a fucking Sprint problem. All right, but that's still a, a problem well, with ordering online and not being able to just get it done the day of in the store. It was a Sprint and Apple problem. I mean, whatever. way. This is a customer service problem. That's not a problem of getting the thing early. This no, I'm not, not talking about getting here early. I'm just saying I like what like this device. Yes, this was special. I'm willing to put the extra effort into it and wait and make sure it gets delivered. And by the way, like the UPS guy wasn't going to deliver. My wife had to go fucking chase him down because he like rang my thing once. I didn't answer. He's gone. So I almost didn't get the phone. Um, but D so ran to the street. She fucking there. took him down. She just fucking sing, like double like bah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Phone. Bah. Um, <laughs> but all I'm saying is like prior to that, I've been like, oh, I think I need a new phone. I walk in the, the Apple store. It's a pleasant experience. The guys like you want to back it up. Great. Good. We're good. I'm, I'm out in like a half hour. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's my. Ch- I like that experience. See, that's now. why I like. It having no interaction with it send it to my house great plug it in swap it out done it's over yeah bada bing bada boom thanks for watching the game over Greg's show everybody click up here to subscribe click down here to go to patreon click over to here to see a video where i don't have a horse voice and click down here to see a horse